Hello YouTube, today I'll be doing a quick review on the Armor Concepts door lock and the strike plate locks. Let's start with the strike plate. Here's what it looks like installed. As you can see, it fits over the doorknob. It looks, it looks like it's made out of brass. It fits over. It, as the videos, uh, the other videos state, it also fits over the longer style door handles. Uh, the only thing I would probably notice on that is that with these kind of doorknobs and the actual L lever handles is that there may be more door, uh, more gap in between when you're, when you actually, it's actually engaged. Okay, here's what the product looks like when it's sent to you. Here's the ring. It's made out of brass. Very, very nice. Looks very nice. Very light. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It's very strong though. Here's the screws come with it and say they're about three inch screws just so you have an idea when I went ahead and did mine this is what your standard screws look like as you can see not a whole lot of protection for there it's just basic door installation okay as you can also see real quick note this is my quick set automatic push button door opener I love this thing makes life a hell of a lot easier especially if you forget your keys Okay, so this is it installed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual install of it. So you know, I had a little white hook installed right there. The reason I did that is because I just don't like it hanging off the door. And a little byproduct of it is that you'll notice is that you'll get this little scuff marks here. So I'm thinking about I'll probably install like a little plate or something, a little brass plate or something to, so the door doesn't rub up against it. Okay, uh, from the inside, as far as the Armor Concepts door armor, you see this here. This actually goes over the deadbolt. There's another one that goes for the door, but as you can see, it's already a tight fit, so I decided not to install it. My main concern is this up here. It also comes with, here's the inside look. These are the actual, what do you call it, hinge shields. There's, they send you two of them. There's that one, and here's the other one, okay? All right, let's open the door and take a look at it. Okay. This is the Armored Concepts. Like I was saying, this is the part that goes over the door. That way this part right here doesn't break free in case somebody should try to kick in your door. Same thing for here. This is where it would have been in, but I had uh, issues fitting it, so I decided not to go with it. Okay, here's the uh, quick set. I like it a lot. Okay, just so you know, here are the hinge shields. Basically what you do is you take out one screw of your existing existing hinge and you replace it. These are about, I wanna say uh, three and a half, maybe four inch screws. They're extremely long, very well protected. If you want, I recommend maybe buying additional screws so that way you can go ahead and do, and do your other screws also, just for a little bit better peace of mind. So you take off one screw if you want to replace them all and then you put these plates over it and these cover also okay uh, just a word of advice also you might want to get the longer screws to also cover the actual inside door that way these screws are much longer you'd be surprised how uh, i showed you the screws how small they are how easily that uh, they can be perpetrated uh, just a word uh, just a uh, disclaimer of course, this door is not uh, what they would call bomb proof, but you try to do the best you can and make it as hard as possible. Okay. And listen, now this is actual armor concept door armor here. This is one solid piece all the way down. You can got several knockouts. Okay. Now, just so you're wondering, this product is not new. I've had this for a while, so that's probably why it looks all banged up here, so I can attest the fact that it works great. Okay, so here's your knockouts for whatever system you have. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that in there, you notice that it's starting to crack. It wasn't due to the fact that anybody tried to break in or anything. I think it was just probably the wood itself when the house came originally. So I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't get this instead. So these, uh, that's where the two products meet up between here and the door. So that touches here and makes that, okay? Uh, just for just a note for the strike plate locks, there's been some concern as far 
one of the criticisms of it was saying, well, when it's engaged, which I'll show you in a minute, you have access to the screws. As you can see, here's the screws. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the door now and we'll see, what the, we'll see what it looks like on the outside when it's engaged. Okay, so now that it's engaged, as you can see, that's, that's what I'm talking about right here. I think that's a pretty good push right there. As you can see, it's holding up great between this and this. Yeah, here's what I was talking about as far as the criticism for the screws. As people say, well, the screws are exposed. You can actually see them right here. So all you, you would take is a screwdriver and undo this. And of course this would come off. But as you can see, when you put it in combination with the uh, armor concept, the screw here is very difficult to get to. And I should also point out, like I said earlier, the screws themselves are about uh, three inches long. So that's not happening right there. Unless you actually want to put in like another piece of plate or something right there to, uh, to secure them. Okay, so I'm going to close this door. And uh, I want to point something out real quick, okay? Uh, just so you know, I did have to modify this a little bit in order for these two devices to work together. Uh, and the, the modification is right in here. Sorry, right in here. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, this actually has a curved lip which wraps around the door which protects actually the door better the modification i had to make was right up in here i had to use a grinder you might want to use a grinder once you install this just to go ahead and meter this uh measure this out because what will happen is if you don't this door won't close and actually bulge out so when you go ahead and close the door it will make proper contact and the door won't lock properly so what i had to do was take a grinder and just grind off a piece of maybe you know, a quarter of an inch here and just grind it straight up to here and that way it works fine you see the door closes properly okay and the whole point of it, that i wanted to do this was because i like the fact that before i got the other product the strike plate lock as the door was very solid as far as kick-ins and things like that I tried to a certain degree without getting too crazy and I found that it worked out very well. But now with these uh, two devices in hand, I feel that it's much better security. I wanted the fact that I can, uh, what I wanted to complement it with was the strike plate was to find out when I close the door, maybe in the middle of the night, if someone comes and knocks on the door, you can just open it up and say, can I help you? And as you can see right here, I can, I can barely fit my hand through there, okay? Also the manufacturer for the strike plate also recommends that if you do have a concern, if you do not get like, for example, I have the, uh, the armor concept here, is that uh, they'll probably, they will probably, or you can get on your own, get the actual security screws, either that, and that would make it much harder where maybe a standard Phillips wouldn't fit in them. They would also recommend painting over them to make access much more difficult maybe put some kind of hardener in it or something, just to make it much difficult for that. Like I said, nothing is uh, burglar proof, but we can sure as hell slow them down as much as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so once again, it was engaged. Very strong, very strong. Now, now if somebody should be trying to reach in, and I tried earlier to try to reach my hand in here to maybe unhook it, but as you can see, maybe right there I can hook it, right there. Well, that's about the, uh, what? I can barely get two fingers in, let alone my entire hand to unhook, reach around and unhook, unhook this door. This is the part where I, I mentioned earlier, if you have an uh, L-shaped uh, door handle, that you it's a, maybe a Skinner shaft and you might get a little bit more in there, but that actually makes it harder because now you would have to undo the whole thing to come around okay and the last thing I wanted to point out is that when this is engaged if you're home and someone is trying to break in oh here's the point I was making earlier as far as with the chain rope look at that see you can actually see that or 
you can actually see that already starting to not very pretty but when you consider it actual what this was meant to do i think that's a small price to pay and like i said maybe you can just fix it yourself before that with maybe a little plate or something okay so mr bad guy or mrs bad guy looking politically correct is trying to get in and they will not leave you alone and they are maybe causing intent causing harm i also uh, have uh, various degrees of defense as far as uh, depending on the intent and they are pepper spray stun gun baton and for the more extreme case let's hope it never comes down to this there actually is a fifth option but i probably wouldn't recommend the fifth option as you can probably imagine what it is it would probably be fatal to that person but if it ever came down to the fifth option that means they really wanted to get in. Okay, well, there you go. That's my review of the door strike, door, I'm sorry, the strike plate locks and the armor concepts door locks. I hope this helped. Thank you.